Hey guys, Preston here in the 26 and 13 Kansas City Royals be faced against the 17 and 22 Baltimore Orioles to be Aaron Burks against Wai Yin Shen in Kauffman Stadium today. A nice, beautiful afternoon. And let's see if the Royals can work a nice win. Here's the Orioles line. It's going to be Patterson, Paul, J Davis, Jones, Hardy, Machado, Law, Weirs, and Shoup versus against Aaron Burks with a 4 and 3, 3.91 ERA, 7 games pitch. 43 hits, 11 walks, and 30 strikeouts. Two, pretty good. I mean, he had a sub-5 ERA last year, so he's improving so far. As, I don't know if you guys know this, but currently I am away. I am not even home. Actually, I made this video maybe a week, two weeks in advance. So, make, make I made all these videos that you're going to be seeing until like August 9th in advance. So, you guys won't really notice that I'm away if I didn't say anything, but I'm just telling you just in case. Maybe you didn't really know. Here we are, Aaron Brooks can work in maybe a nice 1 2 3 inning. That's going to be a nice backhand by Moustakis to throw the first base. That will be in time. Here's the line for the Royals. It'll be Aoki, Escobar, Butler, Hosmer, Perez, Gordon, Ellis, Kane, and I think Ellis or Sergio Yako finishing in the order. First against the 0 4 4 3 4 3 4 Ian Chen. And the pitch. Aoki is going to hit that to Chris Davis, who will field it cleanly in the first base. Now we're going to go into the next batter, the full count, one out, two, I'll see this, Escobar, and he's going to hit that pitch to the shortstop, throw over first base, that will be in time, and it's all up to Billy Butler, maybe he can get some get a hit right here, two, one count, and the pitch from Chen will be hit up the middle of right base, hit Butler, gets the game started with a nice single, maybe he can get something going right here for Eric Hosmer with a no one count. And Chen sets, pitches, Hosmer, he's going to hit that pitch right back at Chen, throw over first base, that will be in time, and the Royals can't get anything done in the first inning. We go into the top of the half of the second inning, and one, two, count to the better, that's going to be a strikeout from Aaron Rook, J.J. Hart is going to go down and strikes. Now, to bottom of the second, no count, two outs, two, Mark Ellis, Chen's going to hit that pitch to the second baseman, throw over first base, that will be in time, oh, and Mark Ellis, he's playing. I think lefties, Markel's plays, and then when it's righties, Petro Siriaco will play second base. That's going to be a nice strikeout from Aaron Brooks. No, bottom of the third inning, no count, two outs, two. Aoki is going to hit that pitch into the gap. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Aoki is going to round first base. He's going to go to second base, and he's going to get a nice double right here. Two out double, and let's see what he can do. 0 2 count, Alcides Escobar is going to be up. And Chen sets the pitch. Will be a swing and a miss on the slider. Just dirty pitch. Gets uh, Escobar striking out. And this game is still tied at none. That pitch is going to be hit into center field. Lorenzo Kane is there to make the catch. But looks like he's just going to lose it in the sun, apparently. I don't even know. It's going to get past him. It's going to, and it's going to be a triple. I don't know what happened with Lorenzo Kane right there. He just missed playing up, missed the fly ball. Now we got Adam Jones 1 2 count. And he's. Adam Jones can hit that pitch into left field. Alex Gordon is there to make the catch. And Aaron Brooks works out of the inning. Now, bottom of the fourth inning, two outs, no count to Salvador Perez. And he's going to hit that pitch. He's going to get jammed a bit. It's going to be a high fly ball in the center field. And that will be caught by Adam Jones. Still, game the game is still going to be tied to 0 to 0. Orioles still even have a hit at this point. Top of the fitting, 2 2 count. That's going to be a strike three call on the curveball. Nice pitch from Aaron Brooks. Is just dominating this Orioles lineup so far, which isn't really doing too well to begin with. Now, 2 2 count, two outs, same ending. That's going to be a swing and a miss on the changeup. And Aaron Brooks is now just rolling through this Orioles lineup so far. And let's see if he can keep it up. Orioles have yet to score a run. Neither has the Orioles so far. Now, 2 out count, bottom of the fitting, to Alex Gordon, who is struggling. Which isn't always the best because he's one of our top hitters at this point. But he's going to get a nice hit in the center field right there. He's batting, a, I want to say, above like around 220. <laughs> Just not really good. Ha hasn't gone up to a very good start. Now, Lorenzo Kane's going to be up with one out. No count. And Shen pitches. That's going to be a little chopper to Chen, who's going to start a double play. And that's pretty much going to be it for the Royals right there. I have yet to string a couple of hits together, maybe get some runs. Only three hits. By the row so far. Now top of six inning, one to count. Brooks is gonna pitch, and it's gonna be a strike three call on the fastball, just right there. Guess the pitcher, I uh, guess the batter didn't want to swing. Now two outs, full count to the batter, and that's gonna be high for a ball four. 
Looks to be the first base runner for the Baltimore Orioles. And let's see if Aaron Brooks can work out of this. Top of the sixth inning, 2 2 count, 2 outs. And the pitch from Brooks will be hit right back to him. Throw over second base. That will be in time. And Brooks works out of the inning. He still has, he still has a uh, no hitter going on right now. Though he is getting really tired in the seventh inning so far. 1 1 count, 2 outs. 2 outs. See is Escobar. And Escobar, he's going to hit that bitch into deep right center field. And that's going to be a tight end play by Adam Jones. And it's going to get past him, go all the way to the ball. I see Escobar, he's going to round third. I see Escobar, he's going to go home. The play, the play will not be in time. I see Escobar gets a inside the park home run. And this will put the Royals up of a score of 1 to nothing. Bomb is exiting now, no count. Two outs to Billy Butler. And Butler, he's going to hit that pitch into deep right field. My field is at the track. He's at the wall. And he's going to misplay it. It's going to go off the wall. Billy Butler, he's going to go into second base with a double. This Royals offense seems to light up all of a sudden. Now, no count to Eric Hosmer now. And the pitch from Shen. Hosmer is going to work that pitch down the right field line. That will drop in for a base. And he's going to get past the right fielder. Go all the way to the wall. Billy Butler, he's going to round third base. He's going to come home. Hosmer, he's going to round second base. He's going to go a third with an RBI triple. And the Royals now lead 2 to nothing. But top of the seventh thing, one two count to Chris Davis. And Chris Davis can hit that pitch into the cap. That's going to be cut off by Aoki. And it's going to be the first hit given up by Aaron Briggs. Did a nice job. So far, no hits until the seventh inning. It's very good. Now, 0 2 count to Adam Jones and Brooks steals. That's going to be hit to Hosmer, who's going to throw over second base on the first. That will not be in time. Adam Jones is just a little too fast. And we, and we go to the next batter with 1 2 count. And Aaron Brooks is the pitch. That's going to be hit up the middle for a base hit. It's going to be fielded by Lorenzo Kane. And the runners are going to be on first and second. 2-2 two, two, count. One out to Manny Machado. And Brooks pitches. That's going to be hit to Moose. Stock is going to throw over the first base. And that will be in time. Only one play. Runners advance both bases. First, second, and third. Here comes Luke Kochevar with a 1-0 record. 3.3 AERA. Let's see if he, because Brooks was getting tired at this point. With, let's see if he can close out this inning right here. Bit of a jam, second and third, two outs, 2 1 count now to the batter. And it's going to be a little dribble to Salo Perez. Throw over the first base. That will be in time. And the Royals get out of the inning without giving a run. Here comes Tommy Hunter. 19 games pitching already. Just pretty good. I mean, 1.76 year, right? Trying to shut down the Royals right here. But that's going to be hit into the second baseman. And gets the easy line out. And we go to the top of the thing. Hoshe is still going to be in. One count, two outs. That's going to be it into the gap. That's going to go all the way to Lorenzo Kane, who is going to cut that off from going to the wall. And it's going to be a double for the Orioles so far. 0 2 count now, two outs. The, pick fr the pitch from Hoshe is going to be hit into right field, right at Aoki. That would be in the cut. And Rose get out of the inning. Still leading 2 0. Bomb in eighth inning, two outs. No count to Alcide Escobar, and he's going to hit that pitch into left field for a base hit. Let's we'll see if the Royals can get some nice insurance runs so they don't have to oh, worry too much in the top of the inning. Two outs now, no count to Billy Butler, and looks like Alcide Escobar is going to try to go for second base. He's almost got caught stealing right there. It's going to be misplayed by Tommy Hunter. He throws it in the center field. Now running to our position for a Billy Butler right there, and Billy Butler is going to hit that pitch up the m or in the center field for it. It's going to be caught by Adam Jones, and here comes Greg Collin. 18 games pitch, 1.5, 1.5 on e record. E I mean here, right? With 17 saves, let's even close out this game. A two-run lead, full count to Chris Davis. Greg Collin, the pitch will be a swing and a miss on the fastball, and there will be one down for the Royals. Now we go to the next batter. Adam Jones is going to be up. And the first pitch he sees, he's going to hit that pitch. It's going to be hot, popped up behind on plate. Salvo Perez will be there. And Orioles are down to the last out. <laughs> One, two, count, two outs to the batter. And it's going to be a swing and a miss. It's going to go in the dirt. Salvo Perez will throw the first base. That will be in time. So if you guys like the video, subscribe, like, comment. All kinds of videos from the, from the Kansas City Royals franchise and video come below. So much for See you so much, President. I'll see you guys later. So see ya. Best win for the Royals so far. 
Two nothing got off to a very nice start of the season, and we'll see if we can keep it up going all the way to the postseason.